In this video, I will show you how to firmware update this Sony 16 to 50 millimeters lens on a PC. But I do have something to say about the M1 Mac version of the update later in the video. To begin, you want to check the system software version of the lens. Hit the menu button, press function button to navigate to set up tab and navigate down to highlight the first setting and then navigate left to get to page 5 out of 5 and select version to see it should be version 1 turn off the camera and remove the SD card so that later when you turn on the camera it will not try to access the card while updating they also recommend that you fully charge the battery or replace a new one And as you can see here, I am ready to go. Turn off the camera before proceeding. Oh, you also want to make sure the lens is mounted to the camera body. And have the camera ready to be hooked up, but not yet. Now on a PC, get to a browser and head in sony.com slash electronics slash support slash and enter. Accept. Scroll down and select cameras and camcorders. Next, select digital cameras. And select lenses. Scroll to select e-mount lenses. And scroll to find SELP1650. Then select. and hit the downloads tab above scroll down and choose the windows version but i do have something to say about the mac version later in the video this update should be for improving autofocus performance now you can scroll through to read the details or you can use this video as a guide. Up on top, go ahead and download. Scroll to agree and download. Now you have the option to sign in, create an account or download without an account. I have an account so I'll sign in for download. So you can see it's downloading on the bottom. Execute the update, select it, then it will run the updater, the lens updater. Now it's instructing you to turn on the camera, select the USB connection from the setup in the camera menu, and verify that the connection is in mass storage. You should be in the setup tab, and scroll to page 3 out of 5. There, USB connection should be in mass storage. Next, hook up the camera to the PC. And the lens should collapse in. And you should see USB mode, mass storage on the LCD screen. Go back and hit next. The lens should wake up. It says follow computer instructions. Now the updater is finding the lens version. And it wants you to verify it on the bottom left there. And just hit next. Now it's doing its thing, transferring data. It says updating the lens, do not turn off. Here it goes, you can see. It says lens update complete, remove the battery and finish updating. I don't know why you want to remove the battery, but okay. Finally, hit finish. And that's it. And you can check the version again. And there's the new version. Might as well get the SD card back in.
And that was it. If you want to stay around and listen to the Mac M1 version updater, you can. Now I want to talk about the M1 Mac version updater. Now, as you might be able to tell, I've tried everything and it didn't work. And I did some research and realized that this updater from Sony is not compatible with Mac OS Ventura, which is Mac OS version 13, at least the time of making this video. I tried and tried, hoping it would work, but no. I also tried it the recommended driver for Mac computers with Apple Silicon. It would not recognize that the camera was connected, at least properly. Eventually, I got the message that the camera is connected to the computer, remove the camera from the computer, but, but then it wouldn't go any further. And as you can see here, the operating system is compatible with Mac OS 10.15, 11, and 12 only, and not 13, which is the one that I have. Eventually, it crashed at my computer and I had to reboot. So then I had to go over here. And then it only took two minutes or so to complete the firmware update for the lens. And that's just about it. Thank you for watching. Do come back.